So Stair Study was my GCSE resistant materials project and it was designed to help my teacher's father who'd had a stroke and couldn't use the stairs. And so it's a very simple product um, which we sell across the UK, we manufacture in the UK and we license out to bits of Canada and America. And me and my friend Sean set up a YouTube channel called Kids Invent Stuff where each month we set a different invention challenge and 5 to 11 year olds submit their invention ideas as pictures or as videos and we choose one to build and bring to life and test. It's really important that we start attracting people in really early, particularly girls. They form a lot of their opinions kind of before the age of eight. So it's really important that we're showing them great role models and the fact that they can do it as well, that it isn't just a male-dominated industry. I suppose some of the biggest challenges within Stair Study, um, looking back, have actually been easier to overcome because there's been a lot of people, there's often a little bit more time. Uh, I would say some of my the biggest challenges I've had within engineering have actually been around the YouTube channel because we have so little time and such big projects that we have to get to work. Uh, so actually the kind of the day-to-day -day stair study stuff actually, although at the time they seem like big problems, is nothing compared to actually trying to build a kid's invention idea. <laughs> there's no blueprint, there's no one I can ask and say how, you know, I mean you can Google, there's a little bit on YouTube. Um, but yeah, you're, you're kind of adding bits in and trying to see what works. In some senses, yes, we do a lot of prototyping, um, but not as much as you might think. It's amazing to be at an event like this and see what other people are doing. It's just so inspiring seeing kind of all the different projects, all the different kind of interesting things that are going on within the industry. And then also to be here at the IUT is just amazing.